Watch the sturgeon from the petting tank jump into my arms and tell me the truth. Is this evidence that at least one small aspect of me is good enough to be chosen? <clears throat> Riding the ATV past the coop of dead chickens across the Crest Creek, watch me eating wild grapes once, give me the hankering forever. If it were up to me, I would have chosen to domesticate the sturgeon and not the grapes. I promise I too was bred to be sweet as a yearbook signature, <laughs> raised to be forgetful and forgiving as the goldfish I won from their carnival bowls. The winter is not even done with us, and I am tank topped in Chicago, across from Lake Michigan, ice flows cracked as a face, my arms out in the sheer prediction of sunshine. When it's winter long enough, I can find the sunshine in anything, <coughs> the way glare alone burns a snowboarder. I can find sunshine in the orange of a New Year's jack-o'-lantern, and it's still not rotting. I pass the same dropped pizza, snow preserved on a lawn, every day of this month. I know it could kill me. Still, it looks good enough to eat. Watch me ruin even this vacation, thinking about any number of yous my mind snow locked. Watch me love you the way a termite drowns itself in a toilet. I come home and everyone, what everyone calls a stink bug is not a stink bug. You don't know that you've never seen a real stink bug, so how can I even begin to explain? The fig beetle, also wrong, bodiless, half eaten by a bird, heads antenna still twitching, mouth always without teeth and now without stomach. I've lived many years as a mouth, and now it seems I am always crying during sex when you cut me like a palm saying I don't understand.